Hello, hello friends, it's Grace here. Things are getting a little weird with Facebook. <laughs> so, <clears throat> wanted to make sure I hit that like button and see if this is gonna actually work tonight. We've got a cute little project for Valentine's. Um, are you guys all Christmas out of it? Are you totally done with all the Christmas stuff and ready for some new, new themes to create with? Because I have a cute Valentine's project from you for you from the Dollar Tree. Like you can collect all this stuff, um, but the little crates are from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use this tonight to create something super cute. I, I've seen it all over Pinterest and I, I have no idea who created it first, but it's darling and all over Pinterest. You can look it up yourself. And um, we're gonna create one, like a version of my own and you guys can, you can then do your own. I just think it's, it's gonna be darling for you to check it out. All right, let's see. Um, I have to see if I can grab this feed. So Facebook wouldn't let me go live as me, weird, like as Grace, the administrator of the company nest, wouldn't let me. So I had to like finagle something to get here live. So I hope this is working. And um, there's Debbie Joy. Hi from snowy Oregon. It's snowy here too, text BFF. We got like 10 inches the other night. My kids have been playing and moving, like shoveling snow like crazy. Hey, Candy. Hello, hello, friend. Hello, Marilyn Whiting. There's Marilyn and Teresa's here. There's Amanda. Amanda and I were chatting today. Hello, Amanda and Maxine. She says it's cold in Oregon. Hey, Marsha and Virginia. Now, it's funny because, hey, Phyllis. Um, <laughs> Debbie says, I got to see you twice today. Yes, I was live in the Napkin Lovers Club. Where is my journal? Where is it? We were doing junk journals. Ah, uh, Debbie, I don't know where I put my... Oh, I know. I squished it under something so it would sit for a while. <laughs> and it's sitting under something heavy, my junk journal. We were creating junk journals in the Napkin Lovers Club. The doors to the Napkin Lovers Club are open now. There are 15 new people who joined in the last week. If you want to be in on this quarterly subscription group... It's a membership club with a subscription box that comes straight to your door with napkins and other craft supplies. Um, it's open now. So go to thecomfynestwithgrace.com to check it out. Shauna says, most of our snow is gone, but it's cold. Hello in Southwest Michigan, Miss Carol. Hello, hello. And there's Michelle Maidlow and Deborah Garnett. Hey, ladies. Hey, crafty chicks. So I'm going to, I will grab some names for happy mail. And actually, um, I would need a pen to do that. <laughs> what the? What the what? We are going to make the cutest little kissing booth tonight. Um, but let's get some names right away in the prize basket. So the Happy Mail prize basket, all you have to do to get your name in is be here and say hello. Even if you're catching the replay, I generally add a replay watcher to the Happy Mail basket. I will announce the people um, whose names go in the basket in the Crafty Chicks Club, so feel free to join that free craft community that's connected here with the Comfy Nest. You guys, I have a horrible kink in my neck. So if you see, if I'm like turning weird, it's weird. Like, this has been going on for three weeks and I was hoping, I was hoping and praying that it was just gonna go away on its own, like this kinked neck that I have, but I woke up this morning in so much pain. I called the chiropractor and do you know when my appointment is? January 17th <laughs> I said to like she said you're a new new well yes I would be a new patient for them and she said well the next new patient opening isn't until January 17th I said listen this has been here for like three weeks I'm sure it will be here three weeks from now so fine please put me down for three weeks from now oh my lord oh lord people we'll be praying she said if there's a cancellation we'll call you I said yes please do I would love that because my neck is killing me so if I look, like, if I look impinged, like, if I look like I'm moving weird, it's true. I am. I'm moving weird. I know, Sean. It's a terrible, you know, it's a terrible bummer. Like, you want to accomplish things, but you can only get so much done. Like, like <laughs> your neck is impinged. You can only get so much done. I've been getting laundry done. I'm still doing the cooking. I'm still getting my work done. But it's, it's truly no fun whatsoever. I don't sleep well at all. Hey, Denise. Oh, Marcia says I couldn't drive for two weeks with neck pain. It's crazy, isn't it? And it's all like this. It's my neck. It's like this area hurts. Like the base of my head to my shoulders. 
hurts. <laughs> Thermacare, Bronwyn. She says it works really well with kinks. I used some like lotion, like a, a stick that I had for muscle pain. Um, it certainly couldn't help. And I think I actually have one of those, a shoulder one left over. So Bronwyn, thank you for bringing that up. It's a really good suggestion, my friend. Oh Lord, I hope you get next it gets better. Nita says, I've had this serious problem with mine at times. You know, thank God. Let's just thank God, Nita, that it doesn't happen all the time, right? It gives us an, a true appreciation for our health when we have it. Hello, Ada. Thank you for saying that. Bio cream. Denise, uh, we don't have any bio cream left, but the stick that I have is similar to bio cream, probably not nearly as powerful though. I need help. There ain't no doubt about it, but we're going to create tonight anyway. I'm going to grab some names for this prize basket. So the first person to say hello was Debbie. She said, hey, I get to see you twice today. So Debbie, your name's going in the prize basket. The names that are in my prize basket here at the company now, well, it's my brother's birthday. I had to look at the date. It's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, David. Um, the names have been in there since February. So there's a good chance, there's still a good chance if your name has been, in, been put in here at all, I'm gonna get a different pen for this, um, that your name could get pulled for Happy Mail. So Debbie, you were the first person to say hello, your name's going in. Next name that I see is Marilyn Whiting. She says, hello, Grace. Oh, now I pick a silver marker. Marilyn, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see that your name is on here, but it doesn't look nearly as dark. It's not as easy to read, but Marilyn, your name's going in. We got 100, 100 people here. The more you guys hit that share button, the more that you sprinkle, spread the blessing, fluff the nest, as we say here at the Comfy Nest, the more names go in the basket. Christy Stowe, hey, text BFF. That's the comment that's getting you in the prize basket on 1228 which is my big brother's birthday. My poor big brother, he ended up at the ER today with his daughter who tried shrimp and had a reaction. Not a, not a fun way to spend your birthday. I'm changing the pen once again. I'm not liking that one either because it, you can't really see it so good. We're just gonna, we're gonna try every pen that's in this bin. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The next name going in the prize basket is it's Deborah Garnett. She sent me some stars and I saw that next comment. Thanks for the stars, Deborah. All right, we're gonna create a cute little kissing booth. And I think you could take this. I may add more names. You guys keep hitting that, that button. We may add more names um, in a little bit. I saw this on Pinterest about a gazillion times when I typed in Valentine's Day craft projects and this came up. I don't know who created it first, but whoever you are, Thank you to you and your brilliant creative mind. We're gonna paint this little crate that I got at the um, Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna use some like popsicle sticks. And I just had this little wooden heart and I actually have some other wooden hearts and some other things in stock on hand that we're gonna use to create. So I have a little piece of wax paper down. We're gonna start painting these. I'm gonna paint three of these red, two of these gray. I'm going to paint the whole box red, I think, although I was thinking it might be fun to add, I got to turn to get this thing, it may be fun to add some pink and white to this just for some variance of color. Let me get this little shake before we do anything. Thanks for the stars, all of you who are sending stars. You're the bomb.com. We're making a kissing booth, Nita. I'll show you. It's going to be super cute. Sprinkled in chilly Northern California. Bronwyn, tell me, tell me your temperatures, you guys. Tell me in the comments your temperatures. Today here, negative nine? Was it, was it nine below? 40 below tonight. 40 below zero is the temperature for this evening here at Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This says it's red. That's not red. <laughs> The name of this paint color is something red. It begins with a P. And that is not, that is not red. That is very much pink. So I'm gonna grab some red <laughs> because I wanted red. That's better. It's gonna be a combination of reds, pinks, whites, and grays. It doesn't matter. Like you could color this thing whatever stinking color you want. 
It's going to be cute no matter what you do. Seriously now. Let's not get all precious about it. I don't care what color you make it. It's a kissing booth. It's going to be cute. And kissing booth, like, um, it's, it's PG because I don't have any tonight, but my goal is to create this little crate. This is a darling little create crate for um, Valentine's Day and put Hershey Kisses in it as a treat for my family. I think it's going to be darling and get it kissing booth like I'm gonna say kisses are free and it's gonna be full of kisses which I think will be cute but this little crate is gonna take a hot minute to paint so while you guys are telling me what the temperature is where you are I'm gonna get in here and get some red paint on this bad boy in all the right places I don't care necessarily about the bottom view um, but from the top we want all this stuff to be painted red and I probably I should have put us I should have put an apron on because it's going it's going to get messy in here I'm going to do the inside too because it's going to be painted with Hershey Kisses in them and when you dig your little fingers in there to get some chocolates you're going to want to see the inside done too right that's my thought anyway so tell me the temperature where you are and you know what um, just because I may not know, tell me where you are too, because Bronwyn says it's cold in Northern California. And I want to know what that means to you, the cold, because not that, you know, like, Hey, if you're cold, you're cold. I walked around my house almost all day with a winter hat on because even though my house is very well heated, it was nine below and it, I just felt cold all day. I think, I don't know, as part of it psychological, I don't know. I don't like being cold. I'll tell you that much, friends. Let me check these comments. I want to see what everybody's saying. Hey, Denise Raymond, 75 in the panhandle of Florida. Andrea, I wish I were you. I want to be in Florida. I want to be where it's 75 degrees, not nine below. That, Andrea, that weather is my jam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like to have my windows open with a nice, comfortable breeze coming in even even if I had to deal with a few bugs that would be okay to me nine below there's a special kind of person to deal with nine below you have to be a special kind of tolerant I guess is what we would say when I tell I remind my husband I'm only here for you like I would not be here if it was my for my own I mean if, if I were by myself I would not choose to be here no offense to all you North Dakotans. You guys are more hardy than I am. You're definitely tougher. I'm a wussy. There ain't no doubt about it. I dislike the cold. It's just the way it is. I don't mind a little bit of cold. I grew up in Massachusetts. Went to school in Pennsylvania. It was cold in Erie, Pennsylvania. But we, I don't ever, seriously, in my lifetime, remember getting negative, like, negative degrees below zero. Never in those places. I don't remember that. Single digits was cold for us. So this negative stuff on a regular basis is like, what? All right, we're painting the inside. I'm painting the inside too because I think it's just gonna look nicer as a little candy dish, candy kissing booth <laughs> being all painted. Do you have to be that fussy? Probably not. You know what? It might be even easier to leave it natural wood. The wood, the wood color is pretty. But I'm doing this with Valentine's Day in mind, so I thought it would be pretty to make it, make it all festive, right? So I've got most of that on the inside done. Did I miss, yeah, I missed this part right here. And then I'm gonna finish the outside and then we're gonna start painting the sticks and then gluing everything together. It's gonna be stinking cute, you'll see, you'll see. I'm gonna have to get my fingers dirty. It's just, I don't want to, but I think I might have to get paint on my fingers. I'm gonna use this rag and see if I can avoid it. What other weather, what temperatures do you guys have? Hey, Barbara. Hello, y'all. Hey, Deb. How warm is it there, Grace? <laughs> Terry Bronson, it's nine below. Although by now it's probably colder than that. It was nine below when I started making dinner, which was hours ago. Now, like the overnight, it's supposed to be 40 below. Just like, I'm telling you, 
this, I, I, and I only remind my husband out of love, just to remind him the depth of my love because I'm still here for him. Not because I like the temperature. I actually really like North Dakota. I like living here. I like the pace of life. I like that there's less crime than in other places. The people are phenomenal. Um, the schools are great. Like, I love being in North Dakota. It's very pretty. I've grown to really like the landscape of it. However, I dislike the intensity of the winters here. It's just not me. It's not my jam. Look at this is actually, it's actually a very pretty red. And it's going on pretty well, very easily into this wood. It's just sucking right up in there. Still have a little bit more. Two more sides to go, and then we can do the next part. Cold here in Rapid City. Hey, Don Dewey. Hello, Christy Tex, BFF. Hey, Sherry, if you guys are not on my text alert system, I'm going to put the number 701. Oh, shoot. 354. I'm putting the text number in the comments right now. Um, so when we're done, you can grab that and you can text me. Just text me Crafty Chicks, and then you'll be on the text alert service for the Crafty Chicks. That's all. Easy breezy. Whenever anything's going on that might be fun to know about. Like I was posting some videos of my kids shoveling and playing in the snow. I do some behind the scenes stuff, but I also do the text alerts for going live and if there's anything else going on that you might need to know about. See, because Facebook doesn't always tell you all the things. It doesn't always show you all the notifications. So it's nice and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a texting service, so you're gonna get texted. So like any messaging rates would apply for your carrier. But otherwise, it's just a great way to stay in touch. Um, peppermint oil help release those muscle spasms. That's good to know, Sharita. <laughs> Marcia says it's the worst. <laughs> just go slow. Thank you for the encouragement, Shauna. I need that. I need that because um, I do get I do get weary of the fact on late night crafting night that it's late for a lot of us. Like we've already lived a whole big day of work or play, like whatever you've been doing. Um, and for a lot of us, like we're ready to hang it up. And yet here I am filling your little hearts and minds with another creative project that might get you excited. If you have one of these little crates on hand, you could totally craft this part alongside me. Just, just you know, painting the outside whatever color you think you want your little crate to be. It's gonna sit like this. So truly, this part doesn't matter, but really, we got all this done now. Like, should I just finish it up with this? It's going on so easily. Why wouldn't I just finish it up? Who else is telling me their temperature? Hey, Ada. Ah, she says, it's been a while since I caught a live. Well, I'm glad you're here, friend. You know, it's it's really hard with the holidays to keep up with our own stuff, let alone other pages and other people's stuff, right? It's just, it can be difficult. I get it, Ada. It's, you're always welcome back. Thank you, Deb. She says, I hope you feel better. Oh, gosh, Melissa, there ain't no doubt about that. She says you've had a lot of stress. I told my husband, like, listen, my son was sick all fall, missed four weeks straight of school. That was tough. I was really, really worried about him. <clears throat> lots of doctor's appointments, lots of lab work, a brain MRI. I was thinking there was something wrong with the stink in his brain because he had headaches for four weeks straight. Thank God, thank you, Jesus, that his head is healthy. As the neurologist said, you have a healthy brain. So we had to just figure out how to get those headaches at bay. That was stressful. And then everything else that happened after that. Um, and I said to my husband, I carry my stress in my shoulders so I could feel the tension coming on. And then Gannon and I went to Mayo for a week. So I was in three different hotels and a house rental over that week for lodging. Um, so all those different beds, like it just made my neck even more tense. And then the drive home, which was nine and a half hours, the drive there, nine and a half hours. We had the funeral right when we got back for my father-in-law and then my friend Jay's funeral right after that. So yes, you're not kidding. Lots of stress. I carried in my neck and I think it just 
I carry it on my shoulders and I think it made my neck. I just say, no more, no more. Use heat for two to three days and then ice for two to three days, Debbie says. Oh, repeat it. Hmm. I've done another of those things. I've done either one. <laughs> I'm just taking some Advil. Um, oh gosh, Michelle's had two surgeries on her neck. My husband and I had some neck issues in the Therma Care Patches. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that, Shauna. Thank you for the stars, Christy. Hey, Pat Harwell. Hey, Sylvia. Welcome, welcome. Hello, guys. Camera's not backwards. You know what, Sharita? Thank you for telling me that. So before I hit the go live button when I was getting everything set up, I, I remembered to check that to see if I could switch it over and it worked. So apparently I have to remember to do it before I hit the live button, not after, because afterwards in the last week it has not been working. You know, the flipping of the screen so you guys can read everything. Thank you for sprinkling, Jana. Thank you for sharing, Nita. You guys are awesome. Hey, Charlotte and Georgia. Thanks for the prayers, Bronwyn. He's giving me the little prayer emojis for my neck. Yay, because it's needed. I just hope that he can get me in sooner than January 17th. I'm pretty confident. They'll have some kind of cancellation between now and then. Hey, Wisconsin, Miss Shelley. Hey, thanks for fluffing the feathers, Christy. You guys are awesome. 51 now in Lindsay, Oklahoma, but within a week, it's going to be 20 to 30. Jana, 51 sounds lovely. It's going to be 40 below. It's going to be 90 degrees colder here tonight. That's wild, isn't it? That we could live in the same country and it could be that cold here? We have 127 people, Denise. <laughs> 80 in Oklahoma. Teresa, that's flipping awesome. Okay, I think, I think I'm gonna do two of these gray and I think I'm gonna do these other ones. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do them red. So I gotta paint some sticks. This is gonna become our little sign that says like, kisses for free or I'm not even sure kissing booth kisses for free I'm gonna do these gray I think I'm gonna do these the same color so I need a little more paint itchy eye itchy eye snowing here in Wisconsin Shelly says 45 for Terry Knopf Terry 45 sounds lovely that sounds like spring weather Sharita says it's 44 where she is Gina says we're having summer again are you happy about that people in Tennessee she says in Tennessee we have summer again is that like we're thrilled about this or we, we're ready for some colder temps? What, what, what's, what's your feeling about that? Okay, I got to hold these little sticks down without, I want to like avoid getting paint on my fingers. So I usually use my X-Acto knife and just hold that stick in place so it doesn't move around on me and I don't have to get paint on my fingers. I'm trying to get all three painted at once. Um, these are going to get glued together, these three little sticks. So the insides of them don't necessarily have to be painted, but I'm gonna to try to hit the outsides a little bit. You know, does it need to be perfect? I'm gonna to try to make this look like, kind of like a, like a kid's lemonade stand. I don't want it to be, you guys know me, I'm not looking for ultra perfection here. I kind of like things to be vintagey looking and very homemade. So we've got those painted, so that's good. Um, I have this little heart that we're gonna put on the front, I think, and I'm gonna paint that pink. So I'm gonna get a new paintbrush. I'm gonna paint these two little stinkers. I think I'm gonna do these white, actually. Um, so we're gonna do a couple of different colors going on here, but it'll all come together nicely, I think. I think, I think. Okay, these are gonna be white. Check these comments. Abami82 in Texas. Teresa. <gasps> 82. We haven't seen 82 in a long while here in North Dakota. That sounds lovely. Balmy. And I like balmy weather. I like warm breezes. To be truthful with you, I really do. I grew up on the ocean. I grew up right down the street from the Atlantic Ocean. Um, right on the harbor in Boston. And I loved the ocean breezes. 32 degrees now in Eugene, Oregon. It's gonna be colder tonight. 67 in Land Lakes, Florida. That sounds lovely, Deborah. Hey, Jana. She says, I've missed you. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm gonna send you a little heart. I'm gonna send you a little heart just your way. Oh, Teresa says storms are coming. It's in the 40s here in Orville, California and the low 30s in the foothills, not so far. 
not as def definitely not as chilly as you, Bronwyn says. No, <laughs> but it's fun to compare, isn't it? Oh, Debbie says you need to move to Florida. Someday, our my husband's business, which is our bread and butter, like this is, you know, this is how we provide for my, our family is my husband's business. Now, the Comfy Nest was a hobby that I have turned into a business and I'm thrilled. I'm so blessed by God for that. Um, but the, the our like true income, the, the income that we rely on for our, our sustenance comes from my husband. Um, so my husband's business is here. So we kind of, we kind of got to stay put for a while, but I would love to move to Florida, Debbie. Hey, Michelle, first time watching from Indiana. She says it's 40 degrees here today. Well, welcome, welcome, Miss Michelle in 40 degree Indy. That sounds really lovely, actually. Heather says I'm not ready for these below zero temps. Heather, 40 below tonight. <laughs> I don't like it either. I don't like it either. Raining in 60 in Missouri. Terry, that sounds nice. It's minus two, Terry says, in Arco, Idaho. God's blessing to you and all the people of Idaho. Anybody who's dealing with severe weather, God's blessing to you. My son just found out if he's going to be stations in Fairbanks, Alaska, Debbie says. He's never even lived in a snowy place. Well, what an adventure he's going to be on, right? Oh, I love that you guys are all sharing. It's Tita says it's 76 at 9 p.m. in North Texas, 37 in Arizona. 37 sounds cool for Arizona. I thought Arizona was still warm. Although I do know one woman who lives in Arizona who today, I didn't look at, she didn't give a temp, but she said today it's cold. Her post was something about today it's cold. Let's do a little inspection here and make sure that this is completely covered, which it is. I wanted the inside cover because Hershey Kisses, little candies are going to go on the inside. And we're going to create this like a little kissing booth. So that, that looks good to me. Still 72 in Tallahassee, Alabama. Ooh, 44 in Central Illinois, low of 33 tonight. Janice, that's not bad. Not so bad for Illinois. That's kind of the temperatures I'm used to in, um, grow, you know, having grown up in Massachusetts. Jody Ann says, hello from north of Grand Forks, North Dakota, high of minus seven. Brr, Jody, you and me. It was minus nine today. My sister says it's 66 in Cape Coral, and she says it's chilly. Oh, I'm not buying it, girlfriend. Mm -mm. 10 below, Teresa says, where she is right now. Single digits in Washington State. Colder with the wind chills. Always the wind. The wind always gets us. Maxine, you live in Devil's Lake, Oregon? I didn't even know that was such a place. You know, I live in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. She says it's 37 in Devil's Lake, Oregon. I have no idea. That's stinking cool. Jennifer says it's 51 in Arizona. Uh, Tina, she says, that's what's wrong with your neck. My neck is tense from the nine below. No kidding. It doesn't help. Mm -mm. It doesn't help. What snow that we usually have for the year we have been getting in Oregon. You have to be hardy to live in North Dakota, Debbie says. I used to live in upstate New York. Same thing. Upstate New York gets a lot of, a lot, a lot of, uh, like, cold. Not this cold, but cold. And quite a bit of snow, usually. All right, let's see what everybody else is saying. When we lived in North Dakota, we had to plug in our car at night. Yes. Yes, we do the same thing. Jana, look at all that. All those people that are here. So fun. Welcome, welcome to the Comfy Nest. If you are new to the Comfy Nest, welcome. Let us all, all the crafty chicks here, say hello and welcome to you. We have been having storm warnings for the day, next few days, although you have... Much colder weather, Debbie Joy says. We are prepared in Eugene. Well, good for you. Fairbanks is 40 below, Carlita says. Carlita, <clears throat> it's going to be 40 below here tonight in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It was earlier today. What did I do with my red paintbrush? Did I, I, oh, I put it in the water. Let me grab that back because I want to I want to just update this a little bit. And make sure that we... Listen, my son has been doing these accents lately. He's been doing a lot of accents. And so I, I find myself trying to talk like with a fake accent, which if I bust out into some weird fake accent that probably isn't truly any particular accent, just like weird talking, I'm not very good at accents. My son is really good at them. Um, like he can, he tries to like imitate like an English person, a person from Soviet Russia, a person from China. Like he's really good at it though. Like he really is good at it. I stink at it. 
but I try to keep up with him because we kind of giggle about it and have fun. Um, he tries to do like impersonations. We watched the Adele. He watched with my husband and then I watched it later with him. The Adele special, her coming back in that concert and interview she did with, with um, Oprah. We watched it and he was like imitating her accent and we were giggling because he just, he does it pretty darn good for a North Dakota kid. So anyway, if you hear me bust into some weird accent, it's all the influence of my child. That's all it is. Okay, I'm going to come in with some gray. I think I'm going to make, so I'm going to put this little heart on the front here. And I think to let it really stick out, I think I'm going to do it in this dark gray. And this is all going to start coming together, I promise. I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun. I'm going to get a little bit of dark gray paint and we're going to paint this heart. And then I'm going to show you how to glue together the cutest little candy dish. This would be great if any of you are teachers or maybe you're a volunteer in your kid's classroom or you like you're going to donate like some candies for the kids at school. Like the, your, you know, your daughter or son's classroom is going to have treats at school. This would be a cute little holder for the candies if if that's still going on. I know COVID has been, somebody was doing candies recently for Christmas for their kid for school and everything had to be individually wrapped. Now, of course, the Hershey Kisses would be individually wrapped inside this little candy dish, but this could be a little, just maybe a little gift for the teacher or just on your own little counter. I think this would be super cute. Super cute. That's what I'm going to do with it. 73, Emma says in Texas. Oh, Janice. The proposal? What's the proposal? She says, wasn't the Adele concert great? She's so talented, it's unbelievable. And I really did, I really did enjoy hearing her whole story. My son was making fun of her. Like, <laughs> if you guys watch, how many of you watched it? Show me some hearts if you watched it. Because if you didn't watch it, you're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna dry these a little bit so we can start gluing stuff together. Ooh, it's gonna be so cute when it comes together. I see one heart coming across. Who watched that Adele special? I don't know what the proposal was. Did I miss something there? It's some kind of proposal? But she was talking about her life and she's been in kind of, I don't know, what do you say, like in hiatus for six years is the way it was described. Like she's been off the charts, like raising her kid. She went through a divorce. She's been trying to like get back to herself. So she was talking about this and Oprah does a great job of like, interviewing people about their experience and their process of whatever they're going through, right? So <laughs> after it was all over, my 14-year-old son says, oh, it's all about me. <laughs> Just that she, her perspective was the last few years have been all about her. And I said, well, it really has been. She's really trying to get back to herself and find herself and find her joy again. But my, from my 14-year-old son's perspective, he was, he was kind of making jests that, Adele said that everything, it's all about me, the record, it's all about me and my son and raising my son, it's all about me. <laughs> he just, I was laughing so hard. If you could hear him, I think you would have giggled too. But anyway, that's what we were laughing about because he did a really good impression. I thought she did a beautiful job and I really was fascinated by her life and her what she's been through. And I think she seems like a really beautiful person. But what the heck, I don't know her that well. I love the accent. I love her accent. And actually, I said to my my family, I said, when she sings, you can't tell she's English. I can't tell she's English when she sings. But when she speaks, it's really, really strong accent. Like, you can tell she's English. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh, his comments about Adele. It's all about me. <laughs> I said to myself, I think she's fabulous. She's so talented. And if it's her turn, like she needed to find herself to be happy again, then go find yourself, honey. I guess you got to do what you got to do. Oh, she said, there was a man who proposed? What, Janice? What are you talking about? To Adele? She was talking about her divorce and recovering from that. Now she get married? What are you talking about? Maybe they didn't show it on the replay. I watched it a few weeks ago live when it first aired. It was so sweet. Oh, no, it wasn't Adele. I see. No, the man who proposed it was to a woman. They were surprising this woman and man and bringing them to the show. And he proposed to his girlfriend of seven years in front of the whole audience. That's what she's talking about. Yes, I did see that. And it was really, really sweet. Yeah. Okay, now I follow what you're saying. 
gosh, if someone only, only heard part of that, they would think I was like spreading rumors. I just misunderstood what you were saying. That's funny. That's funny in itself. Oh, my sticks are stuck to the wax paper. Okay, look it. Looky, looky here. We are going to create this like kissing booth looking thing. So I'm going to put the two sticks inside here. We're going to glue them down. Then, oh, they look terrible on the back. So I better, I better glue the back, um, not glue, paint the back of these real quick. We're going to glue those down. Those are going to hold up the sign that says, I think it's just going to say kisses. I don't think I'm going to put kissing booth on there. I think it's just going to say kisses because I'm going to put Hershey kisses in the little bin. But let's get these painted real quick. Um, and these little, and all these are, you guys, it's just popsicle sticks. These are just popsicle sticks. These popsicle sticks are going to become the sign. Ah, uh, uh, I better paint the other side. I wasn't going to, but I better. Because who knows who's going to see the backside. I don't usually do backside things. And truly, you know, for the sake of the demonstration, ugh, the backside doesn't really need to be done, but for your sake, like if you're going to put this on your desk or on a teacher's desk or in the school library or who, I don't know where it's going to go. You might want both sides painted nicely. Um, oh, my neck. I got to grab my little heater again and dry these off. I think I'm going to put free on the little heart underneath and I'm going to put kisses on top. So yes, it's going to say kisses free. You know, and you could put 25 cents or 10 cents or one penny. Just, you know, just fun. You could say kissing booth. I'm going to make a little banner because I have these tiny little hearts. Check these out. I have these tiny, tiny little hearts. We're going to make a banner with those. It's just going to be darling. You're going to see. And I'm thinking I may want to glitter something up. I bought some really lovely glitter for Christmas, um, and I never even got a chance to use it. Now, I'm not going to use green glitter, but the other glamour glitter I have is like a silvery metallic color. So, I don't know. We'll see. I might glitter the hearts that go on the banner. I thought that could be cute. Because, you know, when you get Hershey Kisses, the wrappers, you know, for the different holidays, like... For Valentine's Day, they'll probably be red and silver. So if I had little silver hearts, wouldn't that be cute? Hey, Mary in New Jersey. Yes, if you're sitting in on a counter job, Jana, you would want the backs of these things to be painted. You know, these little sticks that are going to hold up my little sign. Yeah, you would definitely want those painted. I'm going to put those up there so I can give them a hit with some air. Once you, the painting is probably the, the hardest part. We are going to use, where are they? Here they are. I debated about how to get the words and if I put free on here, I mean, I don't have any um, little tiny um, stamps that are numbers. I just don't have them. I noticed it today. I just don't have them, but I have these little tiny stamps that you get at Michael's. Like in that section where all the dollar stuff is right before the register, they have these little stamps. So I have these that I want to use. And I think I'm going to use these bigger ones to put the kisses on the, the part right above that. So let's get this glued together. I'm going to use, if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to use, this is one of those big popsicle sticks. It's like a tongue depressor, the big one. Um, I cut off the rounded edges for another project and I have these, I just want to cut a little section of this off to glue these together to keep them stable. So I just need enough of this to span Woo! the three sticks. That's all I need. I just need it. So it will, it's going to stabilize the back of this again. If you need that to be painted red, I say go for it, which I still can do. I'm going to see if there's one part of this that looks better than the other. If part of the paint job turns out better. I want these, I don't know why, but I feel like I want them to be a little wonky. I'm going to make them a little wonky because I want this to not be so perfect. And we're going to glue these together. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Whoops. To glue these down and then... I'll paint them red. So this is just gonna go 
This is the back. Whoop, that stuck to my finger, and it, yes, it was rather hot. This is the back. When you're doing something like this and you don't have like, it's a tiny little piece that you're putting hot glue on and you don't want to get burnt, grab yourself a little pair of craft tweezers or needle no ply pliers or something. Because listen, it is no fun burning your little fingertips off. It's just no fun, I tell you. So this is going to hold these sticks together. It doesn't need to be beauteous in the back. This is the back. Okay, that's going to be the front. If you feel compelled, you can paint these too so that they match. I'm gonna get that glue blob off there. Okay, and we're gonna create this little sign and I'm gonna make a little banner that's gonna be so stinking cute, you're gonna be oohing and on over it. And I know you're gonna see this and you're gonna say, I wanna make one. There are about a million different versions of this. <laughs> Not quite a million, I'm just exaggerating, but if you go onto Pinterest, and you, I, I, I think I just typed in Valentine's Day projects and this little kissing booth came up um, and it is stinking cute. Okay, so that's gonna get glued and we're going to put kisses on there and I'm gonna put free on the little heart that's gonna get glued to the front. So I'm going to, I gotta figure out what, do I have a white? Oh, I have this color. I'm looking for, a, um. What's it called? I had a white one, stamp, stamp pad. Oh, you guys, I think I threw it out. The fog might show up. I just don't know that it's gonna show up as well as I want it. So maybe I have to do it in black. Hold on girls, let me look. Let's see, I have the white inker. I've, had, I've been having so much trouble with the stays on ink pads that I just threw out my black one today. This one's called Dove Gray, and it actually would show up well. I just got this one from scrapbook.com that I kind of want to try. It's called Fog Gray, but before I put it on this, I don't know that it's going to show up that well on that gray. We better do a test. So the way that I test, I can just like take this because it's like my little scrap, right? And I'm going to paint this the same gray that my heart is, and then I'm going to test whether or not that ink pad's going to show up on there. That's what I gotta do, because I don't know if it's gonna show up. I think I threw out my white ink pad. And before Christmas, I went to scrapbook.com to buy a white ink pad. I think they were all sold out. They are all sold out, if you can believe it. So I'm waiting for them to come back in stock on scrapbook.com. Do you have a favorite white, opaque white ink pad? Because I have not found a good favorite one. I just haven't found one. So, I've been living without one. All right, let's just see. Let me grab something I know I'm not gonna use. Like, I'm not gonna use the Z. <laughs> I'm not gonna use, I can't even get them out of here. If I wanna use these, and I'm gonna say free, I'm not gonna use the letter Z. I just wanna see if this is even gonna show up on here. It might be too light. Can't even see it. Okay, that's not gonna work. I have to repaint my did it on the wrong thing. I have to repaint it anyway because that's not going to work. I need this to be, oh man, I wanted it to be gray and it can't be. Maybe I should make it pink. Um, do you have a shop at Simon Says? Deb, I don't. Who shops at simonsays.com? Let's answer Deb. I don't. It's not that I like I don't really know much about it, so it's not that I have an objection to that website. I think I've been on it before. I just don't think I've ever ordered from them. So do you? Do you Have you had a good experience? Do you love it? Is it your favorite? Do tell, because we should share shopping experiences. Okay, it's going to have to be pink, because I need to go with a dark ink pad. I don't have any other ink pad. I wish I had white, but I don't, so that's what it's going to have to be. Well, you're telling me about Simon Says... <laughs> for crafting supplies. I'm gonna clean my little fingers here. Could you use chalk paste? Um, I wouldn't use chalk paste to stamp with. I wouldn't. Um, I love Simon Says because they have a wide variety of products. Deb, I'm gonna have to check it out. I've been waiting on scrapbook.com, like I said, for an opaque 
ink pad in white because my stays on has not been working and I've just been throwing them out. I'm so frustrated with them. Yes, it's gonna have to be pink. <laughs> it's gonna be pink. Hey, Lori Elliott. I have such a stiff neck, Kathy. Yes, yeah, she's saying yes, she does. Deborah's telling you, yes, I do, it's horrible. I am sitting on, it's a, it's a blue, it's called a saddle chair. It's a blue saddle chair. It's got nice rollers on the bottom. And yes, it does lift up and down. Um, I got it for my desk and I don't love it at my desk. So I don't sit as long, <laughs> I sit way longer, many, many more hours at my desk, unfortunately, than I do in my craft room. So I've been using it in my craft room and it's working out great. I actually really like it in here. This is gonna take two coats. I'm so glad you guys are patient with me because this is just, it's, gonna, it's not hard. We're just chillaxing and hanging out and chatting about craft supplies. and Oprah and Adele and her accent. <laughs> so, oh, you're just enjoying the company. Um, freehand it, Chrissy. <laughs> no, I can't freehand it. Mm -mm. You're going to challenge me, aren't you? I could if I had to. I don't have the best handwriting. Yeah. Tell me how you feel about that. I um, We had a guest, Beth Hayden Beck from Rekindled Blessing was our guest in the Craft Therapy Club this week. And she was doing this adorable heart project with some solo wood flowers. And she wrote, she was going to ink stamp, like I am, a phrase on the wood heart. And um, she ended up handwriting it. And she was saying how she doesn't like her own handwriting. And I feel the same way. Although, I, Beth, if you're listening, as you were doing it, I, and I even commented how charming the project was with your free-handed writing. Even though we may not be hand lettering experts, I thought your project turned out just charming. So I think we're always harder on ourselves than we need to be. Um, but like, I, I, I know where she was coming from with that feeling like, oh, I don't like my writing because I feel like that. Oh, cute idea, Christy. Bronwyn, the saddle chair is very cool. I love it a lot. I got it from Amazon. I just didn't, it, was, it wasn't it was comfortable enough to sit all day at my work desk, so I use it here in the craft room. Hello, Miss Maggie. Oh, Jimmy Lou says, message me about ink pads. Jimmy Lou, send me a link or something. I, I'm looking for an opaque white one that will work. Because <laughs> I have the stinking stays on and they just don't stay wet. I, I buy the reinking bottles. I reink them, use them once. They're super sticky. They don't work real well. I just don't love them. That's just what it is. I don't love them. On here, I'm going to put kisses. On this, this part is going to be glued onto here. And actually, I could glue it on first. This is going to get glued onto here. And this is going to be my little sign that says kisses. Um, let me peel this back for a minute. And then we are going to use this. To, to, or the other thing I could do, I think I want to put kisses. The other thing I thought would be cute is to put XOXO instead of kisses. But I think I'm going to say kisses. Let's put the X away. K-I-S-S-E-S. -S -S. That's what I need. Okay, and so the S is going to get used three times. I'm going to do this in black, so that's going to make this really easy, and it'll show up really well. I want it to be a little kitty, as Christy said, or wonky. So like she said, you could write your E backwards. Um, K-I-S-S-E-S. Yeah, this is going to fit perfectly on here. So I'm just going to stamp on here. And I just use, I use my Huggies wipes to kind of clean those off before I put them away. K. Okay. I have the tiniest little archival ink black pad that I'm using. I'm gonna purposefully make these wonky so that they're not all straight. I want it to look kind of like a kid's lemonade stand, like not super perfect, just really homemade and messy and kooky and lovable. <laughs> That's my goal, okay? 
I just did the three S's right away because I know they're all going there and then I'll fill in the E. If I had white, I would be using white, but I don't. So Jimmy Lou, hook me up, send me a link where I can get a good opaque white ink pad. All right, kiss it. See, cuteness. Now the other thing I thought, these tiny little hearts that I have, Amazon find. They're teeny little hearts that say, they say love on them. And I thought it would be cute to just glue one onto here, but I don't want it brown. I'm gonna paint this white. Um, I think I'm out of white paint, uh, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get more of it. It looks like the gray is gonna be taken out of this project together. I was gonna have a little bit of gray. Sounds like that's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna get a little more white paint and we're gonna paint these little hearts white and I think pink. We're gonna make a little banner out of them and I'm gonna glue a couple of them on to, well, at least, oh, look what happened to my pen. <laughs> it's going in the garbage. That's the second pen that that happened to me this week. I need a pen, um, excuse me, paintbrush. That's the second paintbrush that did that to me. So that, that just went in the garbage. I'm not even dealing with it. I already glued one together this week. I'm not doing it again. Okay, these tiny little white hearts. These are the ones I think would be really cute to glitter. But for now, I'm gonna paint a few of these white. I'm holding them down with my X-Acto knife. I just think it's easier to hold them down than using your finger, plus your finger doesn't get dirty. I'm gonna do a few of these white and maybe a few of them pink. And these are gonna get like kind of um, glued in different places here. So they're super cute, little, they are wood. They're a very dark stained wood and they say love on one side. I'm flipping them over and painting on the other side with white and then I'm gonna do some pink. And these are gonna become a little banner and some decoration for this project. Uh, this needs another coat of pink. It's the same pink. So while I'm doing the little ones, I'm going to add another coat of pink to this big one. That's where I'm going to put the word free. Like the kisses are free. Get it? <laughs> and I've seen some of these say kissing booth and then they have like a price like 25 cents or 10 cents or something. I think they're just so cute. But you put Hershey kisses in them and it's like a play on words, right? Let's do, I don't know how many of these I need, so I'm gonna do four of each. And then we can, we can always make more if needed. So I've got four pink ones, I've got four white ones. We're gonna hit them with some air. So this project, like a lot of itty bitty little parts to it, but once I think we put it all together, it's gonna to be so darling. I think, whoa, that one flipped over. The air is too strong, it'd be too strong. Um, I'm thinking of using some Baker's twine. No, maybe it's too much. I might just use white jute. We'll see. The white ones need more white paint. So where's my little white paintbrush? They, to really pop, I'm going to show you the difference. They need more white. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. They're really dark brown. So this one has one coat of white. And this one, I just did a second coat of white. It's gonna be upside down or like not straight, but you'll, you'll get my picture. You'll see the difference. Second coat of white on that one. This one only has one coat. See the difference? Second coat really helps. You won't want that second coat. It's gonna really make it pop. It's worth the extra bit of effort. It's not a whole lot of effort. It's just a, a little bit more time, that's all. And did I say I did four of these? Cause I lied. <laughs> Either I lost one or I only did three. You, when I say I lied, I wasn't like a malicious lie. I was mistaken would be the right way to say it. Okay. Okie dokie schmokey. Let's check comments, see what everybody's saying. Hey, Deborah Bolts. Maggie wants the ink pad website too. <laughs> messy, messy craft corner. We want to know, Jimmy Lou. 
Oh, that's a good idea, Deborah. She says, put it on painter's tape so it doesn't move on you. Oh, good, Jimmy Lou. Thank you for doing that. Oh my gosh, my neck, my neck, you guys. Um, hey, text BFF, better late than never. Hey, Gia, hello, hello. Yeah, one of them flipped over. Let's see. There it is. So now I have more of them. Thank you. That's okay. Because I didn't really know how many I needed. So now I have five of those. Yeah, but big five white hearts. Listen, it's it's we're getting into Valentine. Has anybody else started with the Valentine stuff? Because we're getting into the season of Valentine, right? And um, I have a feeling I'll be using more hearts in the near future. All right, let's get that away. Let's see about this. Let us see. Why am I not loving the way that's looking? My little popsicle sticks with the white on them. So we're gonna get a little bit more white. You know, popsicle sticks, these little crates from the Dollar Tree, none of them are terribly expensive. So um, putting a couple of coats of white on them, it doesn't frustrate me at all, because I'm like, man, it's costing me nearly nothing to put this together, so. If I need to spend a little more time and put some more paint on them, I totally will. I see you, Miss Michelle. You can loop masking or painter's tape and put the little thing on it and paint them. Yeah, Mary, that's what I think that's what Debbie was just suggesting. Good, Jimmy Lou. She says, I highly recommend a white daisy, it's called, um, ink pad that she loves. So she's highly recommending it. We see you, Miss Michelle. I don't know. I don't know who Tina is, but Tina, I asked, um, I asked Miss Jimmy Lou to share her, her link. So in all fairness to Jimmy Lou, I'm gonna delete that comment because I feel like it's not fair to Miss Jimmy Lou, who is a good business friend of mine, so I'm gonna have her get, and Jimmy Lou has been a guest for me in my craft um, memberships and I for her, and we have collaborated together with some events, so Jimmy Lou, I would love it if you would share that link with us. Replay from Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Miss Sue, you are with us live, girlfriend. <laughs> I love this kissing booth. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. We got two inches of snow, she says, 33 and cloudy. We got like, at least 10 inches of snow, you guys, at least 10. It's, it's fun, it's wacky. Okay, so in theory, this is what we're doing. Um, these are mostly painted, so I'm gonna get rid of this bit of um, uh, wax paper so you can see a little better. In theory, we are gonna be gluing, they're still a little wet, they've got a little bit of wet. These are gonna get glued down here, okay? They are going to hold up that I'm going to glue this here and it's going to say kisses on it. Then one of these little white hearts is going to go there. Super cute. Then this pink heart is going to go here. Oh, I might even outline that with white because I really want it to show up well. Um, and then I have these other little hearts, which I think probably the trickiest part of this is going to be putting on... A little I want to put like a little pennant bander with with banner with the hearts and I think I better use this is just some like natural colored jute rope that I'm gonna tie around these two sticks so maybe I should do this first it's gonna get tied around these two sticks and I'm going to glue the little heart pennant to it and I don't know <laughs> what should, what should I do first because I don't want to um, I don't want to make it hard on myself, right? So if I tie this on here, like this, and maybe I should double knot this, you guys, because I don't want it coming off. And I'm I'm like I have like the least dexterity in my fingers of probably anybody, any crafter out there. I just do. I just have trouble with like dexterity with my fingers so it is what it is not much i can do about that okay that could be cute there although i think i want the knot toward the back i'm just working it out girls just working it out i'm gonna make a little banner out of this with these little hearts scoot over girls 
it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to tie this to this one, so I don't need much of this. This is going to get tied on here. I think I need to glue it down because I need to know how much rope I need first. So let's get these glued in place. Whoa! My, 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 my thing just fell down, my uh, heat gun, my heat tool. I'm going to glue these down first. And I want things to look a little bit wonky. I think I want them to go wonky wide, these sticks. I'll show you what I mean. I'm not doing them completely vertical, like completely straight. I'm going to do these little sticks a little bit wonky, and I'm going to make them a little bit wide, like this, kind of like a football, like you do the football touchdown thing, so that they're not completely straight, because I want it to look like super handmade wonky, okay? Then this little string is going to get tied here and we're gonna we're gonna string some hearts on here. I want that to look really natural. And then the kisses, oh no, these need to be straighter than that for kisses to fit on there. It's, it's not gonna work if they're super wide. Oh boy, we're making adjustments. Okay, I see what I need to do, girls. We gotta glue that down again because I moved it before it was done cooling off. Hold on, oh, the presses. Let's get a little bit of this glue off that I just put on there that I undid. Little balls of glue, because I don't need it now. Come on, baby. Oh, I love me, my little tweezers are so helpful. I was gonna do these wide and wonky, but here's the thing. If I do it wide, then my little kisses sign's not gonna fit on there completely. So if it's gonna be wonky, it's gonna have to go in a little bit, not out. And I don't know if I want it to go in that much. I'm adding more glue here to reinforce this one because I loosened it after it was placed on there. Oh, man. Nope, it's not working. You know why? Because I have all this dry glue here that I pulled off. I got to get that dry glue off first before it's going to take any more. There. Oh man, that's the, the nice thing about hot glue. Once once it's set and it's cool, you just redo it. Just pull it off and redo it. And if you have trouble getting it off, use your heat tool or your hair dryer to just reheat it enough so that you can get it off of there. It's really, really quite easy actually to fix there. Okay, those will go there. This is gonna get glued on here like this. You guys, this is gonna be so cute. And you could use both wood glue and hot glue if you wanted to. I'm just using the hot glue. And then we're gonna put a little heart on here. You know what, I'm gonna put the heart on here so I don't burn myself. I'm gonna put the glue, I should say, on there and then use my tweezer so I don't burn myself. You guys, I got a little bit of oozing glue that you know me. I gotta get that off there before it dries. Before that cools off that, it's not really drying, it's cooling off the glue. If you have like bits of oozing glue, I always suggest that you get it out right away because it just makes such a mess. It looks it looks messy. Okay, look at you guys. <laughs> so far, a little bit wonky, but I think Hershey Kisses are going to get like bundled up in here, and I think that's going to be adorable. And then I would like to create this little... I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to create it first and then tie it on. So I'm changing my mind here once again. Here we go. But that's the beauty of it. And change your mind as much as you want. Let's try this again. This fell on my lap. I'm gonna put it away because I don't need that right now. So I want to take a jute, and I thought about using baker's twine, but I think I don't know. What do you think? Should I use the baker's twine? The baker's twine could be cute. I was gonna use the natural jute, but now that I see it together, the baker's twine could be really cute on here. 
And I only have this much space, the space between these two, to put little hearts on there. So it's like from here to here, that's all I have for space. That's actually four inches of space. So down here, I can see through my white pad, I can see one, two, three, four blocks from my, um, my um, grid on my cutting board underneath. So I'm gonna use those four blocks to kind of give me an estimate of putting these little hearts down. I'm gonna glue them right on here, these little pink and white hearts. And I think I'll do, maybe I'll do one pink one. This is gonna create a little banner and it's gonna glue to my little silicone mat right now. It's gonna get glued down to that a little bit, but I can get it off there. I think I'm, I'm pretty confident I can get it off there with no problem. So I'm gonna put one pink one and two white ones maybe is all I'm gonna fit. I don't know. We shall see. We're gonna put them on and see what we got. Maybe I could use one of these little white hearts on the big heart with the word free. Gotta let that glue set. I wanna pick it up. I'm tempted to pick it up, but it's not set yet. Once it's set, I can get it up off the, the silicone mat, but you gotta let it take its time to set. And if you feel like you need to reinforce, cause it's on there, these three little hearts are on there, but I don't think it's a bad idea if you wanted to reinforce it on the back with a little more glue. You could come in with another bead of glue. And what I usually do, cause I want it to stick, is I'm gonna put it down, one bead of glue on each one of them, and then I usually take like a silicone squeegee, one of my Chocotour squeegees, and I just spread that glue out over the stick, making sure that it hits the heart. That can come off. That's like a little bit of dry glue that's stuck to the table. I wanna really spread that out on the back. It doesn't matter to me if the back is a little messy. That glue needs to spread out so it, it hits both the rope and the wood. That's the goal is to get it to hit both the rope and the wood so that you get this little, tiny little heart banner. <laughs> it's so cute. That's cute. And I was thinking, I don't know if they're gonna fit, but let's just see. I have these little red beads from left over from Christmas, and I wonder if I could get one of these glittered beads. I don't think it's really cute and small. I'm not sure that it's gonna fit over the, the, um, The baker's fine. I'm not sure. It might be too small. I'm opening up that hole as much as I can with my tweezer to see if I can get this baker's twine over it. No, it's it's just definitely going to be too small. Darn it. It would be really cute on there. I, I wonder if I could just glue it. Let's see if it's going to fit first. Because that will lay right there. The, the little hearts are going to go right there. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I don't have room for those little, for the, um, I don't have room for the beaded, the little, oh, the really cute beads. I don't have room for them. The sparkle beads. I'm going to actually, I think I'm just going to glue this to the back. I think I'm just going to glue it. I think that's going to be my best bet right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And again, with my silicone tool, I am going to... I wanna make sure I got this straight. And I'm gonna push that, that um, baker's twine right into that glue. See that? I'm just pushing it in until it sets. Then, it's okay if this dangles down just a little bit. I know you can't see it, I'll hold it up in a minute, but I need to see the back of it so that I can see how it's gonna hang. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be cute. I really need that glue to set before I get too excited about doing the other side. Um, the Baker's Twine isn't very soft, like it's not hanging softly because I think it's so thick, but that's okay. It's not like really droopy, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I want this one to sit right here. So I'm gonna put a bead of glue on the stick, the back of the stick. I'm gonna push the baker's twine into it until it cools. I, I like to flatten that bead of glue around the rope. 
and then just let that cool. Oh, that was hot. And I can snip that off, but I have to push it in until it's really cool. Otherwise it pops, you can see it, it popped right off of there. Oh my gosh, you guys, cuteness. And I think, what do I wanna do with this? Do I wanna wrap it around? I gotta look at it from the front, ladies, just so I can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, I could wrap that around. I could get a little, it's gonna look like a tie, it's not gonna completely be a tie. I could cover this up with a little heart. Here, I got an idea. I'm gonna wrap the glue, and you, you guys, if you decide to make this, you can you can get your stuff to stick however you can get it to stick. I'm gonna wrap the baker's twine around the front of the pole. I'm gonna wrap the baker's twine around the front of the pole, like this, so it's sticking out this side, and then I think it would be really cute to put one of these hearts right over that. Don't you think, don't you think? If we took another one of these hearts, yep and stuck it right into that glue. That's exactly what I'm gonna do on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this off. Don't need that big baker's twine. So what I did, I have it glued on the back, but right here on the front, I'm gonna put a bead of glue right there. It's a pretty big bead of glue. And I'm gonna get that baker's twine to sit in the bead of glue in the front and I'm gonna wrap this little extra piece around and hit that bead of glue in the front and it looks ugly, it looks ugly, but we'll stick one of these little hearts on top of it into that bead of glue so that we have another heart there. And I, 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 it's really hard for me to do this and show it to you while I'm doing it because it's so little and so fussy, but I'll show it to you here when I'm done. Just give me a second to get it on, on that stick. And I wanna get the, the excess glue. I don't like that excess glue hanging out. The little extra beads. <laughs> looky, looky, it's so cute. Look at that. Now, oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, now we're gonna take this heart is gonna go in the front here, but I wanna, I wanna put the word free, and you guys are challenging me to handwrite it. Um, I might, I might, I might, but would it be cute to put like a heart on a heart? Like the little white heart on there? I have plenty of white opaque markers, so that's not a problem. Let me grab, mm, I don't want a pen, I want a white opaque paint marker. And I will write it, I will hand write it. So this is what we got so far. And then I will hand write the word free on here. Um, and I think, I think I might put one of these little hearts on here too. Like right there. Let's get the word free on here and then we'll see. So this is just a white paint marker. So I'm making sure that the ink is coming out here and then I'm gonna... See, this is the problem with these dang paint markers. No, I don't like it, girlfriends. I don't like my writing. The nice thing is, no worries. Swipe it right off, you start over again. Okay, I don't like my writing. All right, I have to not think about it too hard. If I think too hard, I get myself all worked up. Okay, the F is a little small, so we'll make it a little bigger. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. And I was thinking maybe I should put some stitches around that. It just says free, but I think I'm gonna put little stitches, like stitches marking, so it looks like it's stitched around and it'll give it a little bit of a white edging. Like really make it pop more off of the red because the red and the pink are so close together in color. So I'm just going around with that marker. You'll see here in a minute. Where's my um my X-Acto knife to hold this down so that it doesn't move on me. Nothing fancy here, really super simple. We've got the word free. I did this all in white paint marker. And then should I put one of these white hearts? No, I don't, I don't know. Um I can decide that after I get it on here. 
this is gonna go right here. It needs to dry first though. I can't, it's, it's still wet paint marker, so we gotta dry it first. While this is drying, I'm gonna check the comments. It helps it pop, Jenna, I agree. Aw, thanks, she said I love the free hand. Great job, thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Deborah. She says writing looks great. Yeah, that first time was too thick. You ain't kidding, girl. It was a good thing I was able to erase it right away. Listen, and it's no big deal. Like, if you can't erase it right away, you didn't get to it in time, just repaint it. it it's not going to be the end of the world. You could flip it over and do it on the other side. It's, it's all going to be fine, right? In the world of crafting, it's really, in, the perspective, in our perspective, we can know it's all going to be fine. Okay. Now, I got some extra hearts here, and we may do some glittering. I don't know. I'm trying to decide now. <laughs> this is so cute. Do I want this right in the middle, off to the side? I think I like it off to the side. No, maybe right in the middle. We're just going to glue this down. Nothing real fancy happening here. We're going to put a big bead of glue here, here, and here. And we are going to glue this stinker down. And I'm always aware that I may get some beads of glue out from where I want them to be. And I have lots of them actually right here. I put way too much glue. So while it's still wet, that's the time to get that glue off of your project. And, um, Actually, a cute little bow or something in here might be really cute, right where the, like, I call it the heart cleavage. <laughs> Do you know what heart cleavage is? If you've been hanging out with me for a hot minute, you know what the heart cleavage is. It's like where, I'll show you, it's like where I'm digging right now <laughs> to get that glue. It's where the, the little point is. Like right there, I call that the heart cleavage. I don't know, it came to me one day that that's what it should be called. And so that's what I called it. <laughs> the heart cleavage. It could be cute to put a little bow in there, like a maybe a black and white. I have black and white bows. Yeah, let me see if I can find a little black and white bow. I dug out all that, that um... hold on, I know I have one. I dug out all that glue. Now, I, I think I have these cute little, these cute little black and white bows. Maybe that would be cute there. Oh, it would cover up my word too much. Oh, I, it would be cute. I'm just going to see if I can clip, see if I can clip the ribbon a little bit so that these aren't so long. Yeah, that would be cute. You tell me. I'm going to put it on. You can tell me. I'll put the glue right back at the heart cleavage where I dug it all out just now. And we're going to stick this little bow right in there. Aw. I think it makes it sweet. I'll show you here in a second. We'll let this cool off. You guys. My goodness, is that cute. I feel like it needs a little sparkle up there. I've got some sparkle for you. Just hang on. We're going to add a little bit of glitter to this somehow. Let's put a few of these things away. The little beads didn't make it because I couldn't get the little, these little, I wanted these little um, sparkly beads on there, but they're too small to fit onto the jute. So that's okay. Put that aside. It's not the end of the world that that didn't work because I have some sparkle products that we can use. So I just have to think through, do I wanna use glitter? Do I wanna use uh, a shimmer pen? Do we wanna use twinkles? I have these stickles, like this kind of stuff. Um, let's see about Putting some stickles on here. I'm just gonna put it for now. I'm just gonna put on this one heart, a little bit of these stickles, and see if we can get some glitter going. Yeah, 
and it'll be a little bit 3D, which is nice. Oh, it's just enough. I'm gonna do all three of the white hearts because it looks really lovely on there. So all three of these little white hearts are gonna get a little bit of stickles. And it's just enough where it's not over the top sparkle, but it's, it's really dressing up the white hearts and making them really shine on there. And I, this is what I used. It is the color Stardust. Okay. And I put it on only the white hearts, if you look. I just put it on, let's see, I'll see if I can get this light on there so you can see it. I only put it on the white hearts. And it's, it's when you first put it on, it's really thick. So it needs to dry, but it's got some of that sparkle. You can really see it on this one right now. Gany, you want to come say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the cutest little thing. Gany, I'm, I'm going to put Hershey Kisses in there. Perfect. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. You guys, and you could put tissue paper in there and then the Hershey Kisses, and that could be a cute little gift, like I said, teacher's gift for the babysitter, for... Your girlfriend who you just want to drop off something sweet and cute too. You want to come say hi to everybody, Gavin? I was never here. He said, I was never here. That's what he said to me. I was never here. Oh my gosh. Gannon. Gan? Oh my gosh. It's like suddenly sweltering in here and I think they must have the fireplace on in there. In that other room. <laughs> the white made a huge difference. Yeah, on the little heart, right? just to make it pop a little bit. You guys, Dollar Tree, this is a Dollar Tree crate. Um, five popsicle sticks this size. I used five of these craft sticks. I used one wooden heart. And then I had these little hearts that I got off of Amazon. They're, you guys, they're teeny tiny little hearts. And I painted them white and pink. And then we strung five of those little hearts um, across that baker's twine. Oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then I used the one more right there with a stamp. You could handwrite it too. If you didn't have stamps, you could totally handwrite it. That, that's a stamp up there, and that was handwritten. So that's the difference between them. Not, not that big of a difference, but oh my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you do. Slant it. Oh, that would have been a cute idea, Judy, to slant that heart. Bronwyn says, so cute. I'm glad you like it. Deborah likes it. So cute. Yeah. Thank you, props and scraps. Thanks, Sean. Listen, if you guys are getting some value from what I'm sharing today, please be sure to, to just sprinkle this video out there. Share it so that folks know about the Comfiness with Grace. They know they can join us anytime. There's a free craft community called the Crafty Chicks Club. There are three craft membership groups, two with a subscription box that, box that gets sent to your house and one without. You're welcome to join any, and I have some of you who are in all of them. So thank you to the loyal crafty chicks who are, um, who take part in any of that, the free or the, or the paid memberships. I, I value every single one of you. So thank you for being here, you guys. Um, I got some names for the um, prize basket. And replay watchers, make sure that you let me know that you're catching the replay because I will add another name from the replay watchers. How many did we add tonight? Let's add one more name from the comments because we had like, I think someone said we had 127 and I try to add one name for every 25 people. So let me grab one more name from the comments. I'm going to scroll and like, my eye will hit a name and that's the one I'm going to grab. So the next one is Shelly Burrell Cullum. So Shelly Cullum, your name is going in the prize basket. She said, so cute. I'm glad you think so, Miss Shelly. There you go. Your name's going in. And like I said, replay watchers, make sure that you let me know. You're catching the replay. Oh, Judy says I want to make it for my little dolls. Isn't it cute? It reminds me of a lemonade stand. It totally reminds me of a lemonade stand. So easy to make. So easy. Hot glue gun and a bunch of wood sticks. <laughs> You're welcome, Bronwyn. Thanks for being here. Stay cozy and feel better. Thank you. Say a little prayer that my neck, <laughs> that my neck gets the kink out of it tonight. I have not been able to sleep. Whew, I may have to take some more Advil before bed because mama can't sleep. That does not help. Oh, listen, Donna. Donna say I'm going to try this now. 
you guys, yes, it would be great for the grandkids. If any of you try it, I would be so honored if you would share your project in the Crafty Chicks Club. Show us that you made your little kissing booth. Your kisses are free, little um, kissing booth, and share it in the Crafty Chicks Club or in any of the membership clubs. If you're a member of any of them, go ahead and share them in there. We would love to see your version of it. I can't wait to see what paint colors you pick and what, what other little embellishments you can come up with because I'll tell you what, you guys always blow me away with your creativity and your smartness and your um, just your, your sweet, kind hearts that you share your projects. So I'm always blown away by that, and I know the other ladies are too, so thank you for sharing ahead of time. Um, go ahead and create one and share it in the group. Oh, and Jimmy Lou has the Hershey Kisses on hand. I don't have any on hand, but now I'm totally motivated to get some, and my family really does love Hershey Kisses. Who doesn't love Hershey Kisses? They're so yummy. Advil and Tylo, that's what I'm going to use. Yeah, Bromwin, I have that like dual action Advil with the acetaminophen in it, and that's what I'm going to take because it's, it's not good. You love what I chose. I can't wait to see what you guys do though, too. Because if you look on Pinterest, there are lots of different color combination ideas. Um, and that could be a good inspiration, but also sharing it in the Crafty Chicks Club. Once one or two of you share them, you're going to get ideas on different color combinations that can be really fun. So enjoy making them. All right, you guys, have a beautiful, blessed night. Take care of yourself. Thank you to everybody who sent me stars and for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye.